Now that we have checked everything works correctly, it's time to start buying traffic. For this, we're gonna go to Zero Park, which is the traffic source we're gonna use. And here you need to sign up for an advertiser account. Zero Park sells traffic from different ad formats, including push, pop, and domain traffic. Once you get your account approved, now you can go to your Zero Parks dashboard and you will see this menu. Here you will see the insights from your past campaigns. So what we're going to do now is to create a new campaign. So we need to click here and select the traffic type we're going we to use. For this example, we're going to choose domain traffic. After that, you can select if you want to buy all the traffic with run up network or you want to enter a list of keywords or maybe just select some targets or sources or buy traffic from multiple geos. In this case, I recommend to get started with run traffic and then start segmenting after that. Okay, so here you're gonna choose a campaign name, which in this case, it was something like Germany, iPhone, sweepstake. I'm selecting something very similar to the one, to the name I already have here in volume. Now we, Gotta select the country. So let's scroll down to Germany and click here. You can also choose regions or cities, but in this case, we're just gonna let it be like that. Here we're gonna set as a cost per visit, which in this case, it can be something like 0 0.001 and select a daily budget. So let's say we wanna spend $20 per day here. You can leave the campaign budget unlimited, and this means you will uh, need to pause it when you want to pause it in the future. And you can leave this uh, option to buy the traffic smoothly instead of, instead of buying all the available traffic at once. I'm gonna leave the targets and sources daily budget here because this is just an example, but you can select uh, an, a specific budget for each one of those. And now you can select a traffic filter here. So in this case, let's choose mobile only. And then you can click the advanced uh, button to select some different filters for mobile to let's say OS and the type of traffic you're gonna get. So let's say we're, we just wanna get Wi-Fi traffic from iPhone and iPads. So we just click these options and now we have only Wi-Fi traffic from this operating system. As for the frequency filter, uh, by default, it's set at 30 minutes, but I like it at three hours or maybe six hours at the first um, test. Now you gotta select if you wanna receive adult traffic or not adult traffic. So in this case, I'm just gonna select mainstream, mainstream traffic. But if you have an offer for adult traffic, make sure to select that. After that, you need to paste the destination URL, which is your campaign URL from volume. So let's go back to volume, right click here and click the copy URL button. After that, you can paste it here. And since uh, volume is already integrated with Zero Park, you don't need to, to add anything else or set up any post back here. Conversion tracking is already being done automatically uh, with volume. After that, you can select the campaign vertical, which in this case, is something like sweepstakes and service. And if you use product address, you can select yes or no. In this case, we are direct linking, so I just click no. And after that, you can select if you want your campaign to get started right after approval or start pause it, and then you, you can approve it and activate it uh, manually. So in this case, I'm gonna leave it as active and click save. After clicking save, your campaign will be sent for approval and be created in your Zero Parks dashboard. Now you just need to wait a few hours to get your campaign approved and you will start buying traffic from Zero Park. Now you can click go to details and see all the details of your campaign here in your dashboard. And if you go back to your main dashboard, you will see that your campaign is being is pending for approval. After your campaign is approved, you will start seeing the visits here and you will start tracking conversions in this area. So keep an eye on it and check your stats so that you can start optimizing your campaigns with volume.